clouds what's up and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna show you this hairstyle which you can wear one of four ways I love this hairstyle and these options just for when you have those days where you skip your wash day and you need something cute to do with your hair that was definitely the case for today but like I said there's four different ways to wear this hairstyle so let's go ahead and get started as with every hair tutorial you will need some supplies this is actually very easy minimal supplies you just need a hairbrush if you prefer a comb definitely grab a comb I just like to use my long nails bobby pin and a ponytail so here is where a comb would come in handy if you don't have long fingernails you want to split your hair down the middle and I want to start off by like just splitting it down the middle because you can play with whatever way you would like to part your hair that's kind of the four parts or like the four different looks of this part is just like how you do your part so like I said splitting the hair down the middle if you choose to use a comb it's probably a lot easier but I never have a comb so I just find using my nails super quick and easy then we're gonna take like maybe an inch an inch and a half of hair on both sides of the part and we're gonna separate them I feel like this has become a very standard very common theme with like the whole new hairstyles these days it's always taking your part down the middle and then taking a few pieces on each side just to let dangle and chill i really like this because it gives like a cute little bougie bad little effect of every hairstyle but like i said you can play around with the parts right now we're just going to leave them in the middle like this so we are going to take another section of hair but right now we want to make sure that these little two pieces that we kept will stay like out of the way so they would just remain separated and now we're going to take like maybe like an inch and a half to two inches of hair on each side and this is the hair that we're going to use for our braided area if it's easier for you to do go ahead and use a bobby pin or like a small ponytail to keep the front bangs separated if not just like do what i do and i just like tuck them behind my other ear here soon but for the rest of the hair, we are going to keep it separated with that ponytail. This just makes things so much easier so you don't grab like random hair whenever you do your braids. So again, just making sure they're nice and separated and then we are going to be working on the look. Now I like to do this first because I like the bangs to the side. Like the bangs to the side is such a mood. But um, again, we're going to play around and I'm going to show you all four ways to do this hairstyle. For now, we're just going to start braiding that big chunky piece that we just recently separated. Now, I do have a couple braiding tutorials on my channel, so they are um, pretty old. Definitely go check them out and if you want me to create a new one just to like re-update it and give you like easier access to it, let me know in the comments down below, but they should be under my hair tutorial playlist section. A quick little braid tutorial that I can just give you right now is start by parting a top section into threes and then start your braid off you know one over the other and then the middle and keep that going until you feel like you have a good braid started and then you can start grabbing the hair on the bottom and work your way down again if you don't know how to braid or you just need extra help how to braid let me know in the comments down below and definitely go check out my braiding tutorials because I make it really easy and I do walk you step by step through it better than just like explaining like how I did right now because I'm definitely like a visual learner so if you're a visual learner then definitely go check out those videos this side is complete we're just going to tuck it in nice and securely with a bobby pin for now um, I do like to go in there and use a uh, not a bobby pin a rubber band just to secure the braid together but when they're both finished that, that way it's like just easier it looks nice and it's tighter now we're going to move on to the other side literally doing the exact same steps so i'm just going to speed it up and you know follow along if you're following along so for the most part this hair tutorial is going to be super easy very simple with just like a variation of style preferences and options so we are basically done with this side of the braid and here i am securing it to the back for this one, I am using another bobby pin because I'm not going to secure it with, I don't know if I can do it in this video, but normally I'll secure it with, like I said, a rubber band. Right now, bobby pins work. And now we're going to let the rest of our hair grow, grow, go. <laughs> and now this is where you can really play with it, make it your own style. Go ahead and brush out the hair. You can honestly wear it like this when it's down, no ponytail at all. Split the bangs in the middle, split the bangs to the side. Super cute. I personally just like to put it in a ponytail 
and just like to see which side I want my bangs to go on. So you can do like a side part or a middle part or you can even like do no bangs at all. Like I said, I have done this hairstyle where I kept my hair down, curled it, and it is so, so beautiful. But because we missed wash day, we are just going to pop it up into a ponytail. I like a good sleek, sick, slicked, dang, I can't talk today, sleek, slicked back ponytail look. It's super, super nice and elegant. Very pretty for like a date night or just like a hurry up, I gotta go. So that was option one, wear your bang to the left side. Option two, wear your bang to the right side. And option three is wear your bangs down to the middle. And of course, the option four was just no ponytail at all. Super, super cute. And I just love like the variety of looks that you can get with this hairstyle. I definitely recommend if you are going to wear your hair down like this, just give it some curls, give it some volume because it looks very, very nice. And here is what I decided to go with for today. It looks very, very cute. Definitely perfect for my outfit for date night. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And hopefully the baby girl will be here soon because she's due in like two days. So wish me luck and thank you guys for watching. And I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye clouds.